this lesson we're gonna be creating a formula within Google Sheets that's gonna return back whatever set number of characters from a string value. So we've got the strings in column A, the number of characters from the rear that we want to return back in column B, and then the results are in the output, which is column C. And this is the, gonna be the behind the scenes code, that's app script, that's gonna be creating the function within the formula. This lesson, we're gonna be getting the last number of characters. So for hello, we're gonna get the last three characters, world five, foobar two, and then output that within the output column, which is column C. So we need a few parameters and uh, we're gonna need the string value and the numeric parameter there within column B. So under extensions, app script, open up the script editor. And within the script editor, let's create a function and we'll call it last vals. And then the two parameters, so we need the starting string and then we need the number parameter. Let's uh, return back whatever the starting string is, and we're gonna slice it using the string length and subtracting out the number. So select the function name that we just created, and then within the output, select the formula bar, and then let's enter in the parameters. So the first parameter is gonna be the string that it's gonna be looking for, and the second is the value of n. And so right now, this is going to be returning back the last three characters. We have more characters. It's going to return back the last 10 characters. So if we do want to have a default, where it's defaulting anyway, right now where it's returning back all of the available characters. But if we want to, just to make sure that the value of the number is greater than or equal to the string length. So we can use the string length since it's a string function. And if it is, then we can simply just return back the string. So if this value is larger, it's just going to return back the string. And then, of course, you can update these numbers, and it's going to change the results coming back from the formula.